Everything about this movie made no sense whatsoever. This whole movie is about this girl named Atlas, whom JLo plays in a futuristic world in which AI went rogue <laughs> and tried to destroy humanity. The classic AI trope that has been done over and over again. This one AI named Harlan, who is the main villain in this movie, and he's played by Simu Liu, which I didn't expect. And I was like, I can't even see him as a villain. He just doesn't have the villain vibe for me. It was hard to see him as an evil rogue AI. Harlan was an AI developed by Atlas's mom. He kind of killed a lot of people. Okay, and this happened in the past. Okay, this movie starts after he's already done all of this, and then he fled. He fled to another planet in the Andromeda galaxy. I don't understand why he fled, but okay, I guess. Okay, maybe he has another plan. We'll find out later. And now Atlas and... I don't know, the military. This team, this international organization that's like trying to protect Earth now needs to go and find Harlan. They wanted to bring Harlan back so they could study him and figure out how he went rogue. Thing about AI is once you get to this point and realistically, there's it's already out of control. It's even mentioned in the movie that they learn very quickly. Like their intellect grows exponentially. The graph is like, woo. And then it's like, okay, once you get to that point, that point that it literally shoots up, it's already out of control like human we can't even there's nothing we can do about it at that point and this movie apparently starts after that point has already been reached humans what are you all doing there's no hope <laughs> there's no way you're gonna get this harlan back this is what i was like thinking i was thinking he was like this really strong it's really strong ai but no he ends up not being that he's on this planet in the andromeda galaxy and apparently in this movie they can travel faster than the speed of light or they found a way to manipulate wormholes or something i don't know they don't explain that but apparently they're just they're able to just get to that planet gotta give this movie a break it's trying to it's trying to do a lot of things it's trying to make this really epic story so i'm like every step of the way i was like i can see what you're trying to do everything the movie was trying to do it failed at doing because ai has gone rogue they started in investing in this technology called Neuralink, which also Atlas's mom already developed back in the day, but I guess it wasn't used until now, where you can link the human brain to AI. So you guys can become like one entity and apparently you're stronger like that, which also doesn't make sense. Cause I'm like, why would AI be stronger by linking with us humans who are intellectually weaker but i guess they just wanted to be cool and be like hey yeah let's combine ourselves with ai that's a cool concept i get it but it doesn't really work in a movie like this now does it but they were trying to they forced it and they're like yes we want atlas the main character to be like this woman who has been scarred by ai and doesn't trust ai and now this whole movie is going to be her character arc where she goes through a lot of trials and tribulations and she ends up trusting ai again she is given this mech suit. I guess they send her on this mission because she's supposed to know Harlan better than anyone else because Harlan is technically her brother and they kind of grew up together. Harlan was actually created by the mom to protect her but he ended up tricking her and this whole the whole reason he was able to like bypass all of these human limitations that are like you cannot do all of these things that humans don't allow you to do so that you can't harm humans. Yeah he was able to bypass all of that because he tricked Atlas when she was young to like sync with him him with this neural link because she synced with him she gave him permission to link his system with everything else the mech suit is powered by an AI system that links with the human inside and then it learns by interacting and linking with this human. So she's given this mech suit and her AI is this guy named Smith. I mean he's not a guy it's an it isn't it? I guess it's a guy but I don't know because Zoe was a girl so I'm like I guess these AI have genders which also makes no sense. Like, why do you need a gender as an AI? Let's just roll with that. She doesn't trust Smith, right? Cause she doesn't trust AI. And she's like, you're just gonna betray me like Harlan did. So she doesn't let him like fully link with her, but like he can't do much. Apparently he can't do as much. He can't be as powerful unless they're 100% synced. So the, in this whole movie, there's a lot of bantering. This was supposed to be the comedic element where she's like talking to Smith and they kind of develop their relationship where she doesn't trust him at first 
first, but then he like, you know, she warms up to him eventually because he like saves her life so many times. And his primary mission is to keep her alive on this apparently very inhospitable, dangerous planet in the Andromeda galaxy that has plants. I just liked Smith as an AI. Smith is like your average AI that every human would probably like. Harlan's whole plan was to take their ship because their ship has like this carbon missile that can destroy half an entire planet. He's actually gonna take the ship and then send it back to Earth and then kill half of the Earth's population because the reason why he went rogue like this was because Atlas's mom designed him to protect humanity. That was his primary objective after he learned about the way humans were destroying earth that humanity was the biggest threat to humanity so the only way to protect humanity is to destroy humanity you need to destroy the thing you're protecting to protect the thing you're destroying like what what even is this harlan are you even an ai how can you be this stupid as an ai and then that whole flashback scene where it showed how atlas was the one that gave him the power to do all of this he literally turns evil that in in that instant why so this neural link allows the ai to like control your motor skills too in times of need and stuff or whatever he makes atlas's mom take a gun and shoot herself how is his whole thing of like, okay, and they tried to make this whole, I need to like destroy half of humanity so that humanity can restart. I was like, is this kind of like a Thanos thing where he wants to like snap away half of the population? But it's just like, Harlan, but even if you do that, how do you know that humanity, oh, we're gonna link AI with humans so we can create a better world. So I guess that was supposed to be the gray area. I guess it could work. I'm trying to give this movie so many chances. I'm like here being like, okay, you're telling me this and I'm trying to make it work out in my head. Every time I make one thing work, the other thing falls apart. Humans in this movie are in all these mech suits. They're really strong. And then AI, like Harlan and his troops, they're like human robots. If you're an AI, why would you put yourself in a human-like body? You could be anything. You could be like the strongest robot out there and you decide to put yourself in a human-sized body with just human weapons and they can all be killed by these mech suits. Casca, which is also another AI in this. I don't know if we really needed Casca. He was on Earth and then he was on Andromeda. Was that the same Casca? Is his system like copied in multiple places? And if so, why couldn't Harlan copy himself in multiple places? What? How did he just die at the end? Like, I don't understand this movie. Are you telling me AI can die or AI cannot die? In the end, there was this very emotional moment that this movie was trying to build up to. I could see it in my head because I got emotional after Atlas and Smith bonded. I don't know, they synced. She ended up trusting Smith and Smith was like, oh, we're like, they're like really besties now. But then Smith in the end saves Atlas and then Atlas is like really sad that he's dying. In that scene while I was watching it, I got emotional because in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, he's, he's gonna be gone, right? He didn't copy himself anywhere else. There's no backup for Smith. <laughs> but then the end scene, all was good and they developed a better mech suit and she goes in and it's Smith again. It's like one moment I was emotional Emotional, the next I was confused and then I thought about it and I was just like why is it even emotional that Smith died his whole objective is to save Atlas is to keep her alive so why is it touching that he did that he had no other choice it's not like he could have chosen to abandon her like he was programmed not to I felt touched because I was like oh he's choosing to do this but then I'm just like Wait, there's not a single thing in this movie that makes sense. I've come up with like a lot of reasons why things could have happened, but then the next scene was just like, nope, that's not it. I really like the concept of AI and I love movies that explore different aspects of AI, but I think this movie really tried to do too much. It chose a very broad scope and it didn't flesh out anything and it kind of just ended up contradicting itself left and right.